With this session update, I'm Shannon Lurkey. Within the last week, the Senate, the House, and the governor have now all released their priorities for Minnesota's next two-year budget. Their respective positions establish a baseline for the negotiations, which ideally will be completed by the end of the legislative session on May 17th, and must be completed by the end of the fiscal year, June 30th, to prevent a government shutdown. The House budget proposal comes in at $52.5 billion, and the Senate position is $51.9 billion. The governor's proposal falls somewhere in between the two. None of the budget positions takes into account the $2.6 billion the state is expected to receive in federal stimulus. The Senate has proposed $591 million in tax relief through several measures already passed by the Senate, such as relieving the tax burden on Minnesota employers who accepted federal Paycheck Protection Program dollars and unemployed Minnesotans who received an additional federal unemployment stipend. Governor Walls has indicated agreement with the tax relief but would cap the Paycheck Protection Forgiveness at $350,000 and the unemployment relief at $10,200. To raise revenue, the governor has proposed the creation of a fifth income tax bracket tier for the highest earners as well as a higher corporate tax rate. The House plans to reveal their tax proposals in early April. For education, the Senate has proposed $19.8 billion for the coming biennium and includes efforts to increase teachers of color, address educational disparities, and improve students' mental health. The House would spend $20.8 billion, with an additional $716 million directed to early childhood and $107 million for summer programs to get kids back on track. Governor Walls has requested $150 million from the legislature to boost summer learning efforts. Finally, the Senate proposes 5% cuts across state agency budgets while increasing funding for broadband expansion, transportation projects, and jobs in economic development. The House plan also seeks to expand broadband access, as well as provide money for paid family and medical leave and earn sick and safe time. The governor's proposal would expand the working family tax credit and also provide funding for earned sick and safe time. To continue following these issues and more, watch legislative coverage Monday through Friday on the PBS Minnesota channel or visit our website, www.senate.mn/media.